Hey, how's it going, Pro Gun YouTube? Today, we're gonna to talk about the Smart Carry. I've been carrying this every day for a month. They're made in Florida. They deal factory direct only. You will not find them on any other site, so it's smartcarry.com. They're about $60, free shipping. They give you a discount code once you get it. So I ordered mine for the Glock 26. They have a couple different sizes you can pick, the measurement, and uh, some are gun specific. So I, I wanted to get the Glock 26 since it fits so many different firearms. It has a spare magazine pouch. And of course you don't wear it on the outside, you wear it on the inside. I got this for the video. So I'll get a couple questions out of the way and make it easier. Is it safe? Of course, it's a holster. It has a lot of material here. If you know how to carry a gun, you won't shoot yourself. A lot of people say in my other video with the belly bands I had, I'll never wear a rubber band. Well, you're wearing a belt, so I don't know what the big difference is. So here's the side view. It has an adjustable strap here. So you slide it in, then you slide it back through and clip it to the Velcro. Velcro does hold nicely. It sits below the waistline. You can wear it as high or as low as you want. So telling people that you'll never wear a rubber band around you, well, that's a lie because you wear a belt every day. No different. How do you go to the bathroom in it? Well, for one, you don't use urinals. You go into the stall. You can either pull it up. Now it's above where I have to use the restroom. And of course, I can sit on the toilet with no problem because it's there. Put it back in a spot when you're done. If you want to readjust it to make it tighter, or if you want to make it looser to pull it up and then redo it, it'll sit around your belly while you're in the toilet. So those are two of the most common questions. Is it safe and can I go to the bathroom? Sure. So the Glock 26 fits in there like that. You got the firearm, spare magazine. There's a J frame. Fits in there just fine. There's a speed strip. Fits in there just fine. Got the top of the speed strip hanging out so I can grab it when it's inside the waistband. There's a Kimber 1911. That's how it fits in that. Spare mag. So there's your 1911 Glock 26, J frame all in the same holster. There's your Glock 19. That's how the Glock 19 sits. Sugar is completely covered. Let me pause the video and now I'm going to go inside the pants to show you what it looks like with the different firearms in the draw. All right, now it's on. One thing I forgot to mention, this is strictly appendix only. It doesn't fit in any other position. So, got the drawstring shorts on. Sorry for the gut, but that's what you get. I got a gut and no butt. That's why I love the waistband holsters. Now I have this a little bit higher, so you can ride it wherever you want. The top of the Glock is right here. This one, all you do is take your weak hand and a draw. You wanna make a pocket. So once you have your pocket, all everything's accessible right there. So go in with the draw hand, there's the gun. And of course your spare mag is right here. Reholster, you wanna use your thumb as a guide. So put the mag back in. So you kinda of wanna ride your thumb on the side with your finger off the trigger. So you'll make your pocket, put your thumb in your holster, ride your thumb. Now I'm completely reholstered, fix my pants, and back to it. The instructions do say to practice, practice, practice with your gun empty on the draw and the reholster. Of course, I have done that, and I find it very comfortable. So let's go ahead and get rid of the 26. There's your J-frame. It's on my thumb. J-frame is now in. Same thing with the draw. Take it out. 1911. Finger off the trigger. So all I'm doing is putting my thumb in that pouch. And let it drop in. Sorry I showed you my gut again. 
and then your Glock 19. Another thing you got to remember is you're not going to be drawing and reholstering all day. You'll probably never draw your firearm. And if you're never drawing, you're never reholstering. So that's pretty much how you're carrying. So everything is below the waistband. Nothing shows in the rear, nothing shows on the sides. And like I said, you can make this even lower if you want. So I can push the firearm lower. Just make that pocket, grab your gun and draw. I'm gonna show you the sitting and standing. I'll be right back. All right, we've got the Glock 26 holstered right there. Here's a chair. When you sit, this is the tip of the uh, holster right there. So you can move it a little bit left, a little bit right if you want. I'm right-handed, so I keep it on the right side. Stand up, there's no adjusting, because like I said, everything is above the belt. It would help if you've seen it, right? Let's do that again. So sit, no adjustments needed. When I stand up, I don't have to adjust the firearm. So that is one of my favorite parts, again. So stand in line, if anybody bumps into me, there's nothing on my sides. I can sit down normal, I don't have to adjust the gun, I don't have to pull the gun. The gun naturally will go with you. Plus the barrel's right here, so if the gun went off, it's gonna go between your feet, hopefully, and miss everything, because it's kind of angled that way. Like I said, I'm confident in the safety of the holster. Again, it's Smart Carry Holsters, not a sponsor. You'll love it. Carry your gun no matter what. You don't get any lighter than draw, draw string shorts. Okay, have a good one.